Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message. Okay, so Aries, uh, this week you have the full okay you have the full card for love so it's either that you are in a new relationship there's a lot of infatuation you could feel like this person is the one but you still need time to actually uh, see if they are some of you are single and you're going to jump back into the dating market um you're going to get back out there and put yourself out there and then some of you um you want to take a leap of faith and maybe do something impulsive towards someone from the past, okay? Someone you have history with. Uh, you may want to take the relationship into a new direction, a uh, new development. What can we develop here that is new, um, that will swing things the other way, go the other way, and not um, not more so uh, that we do the same thing again, that we, we tend to engage... And we'll do the same thing. It will have the same outcome. So it's like someone wants to do something different so you guys can have a different outcome. Um, yeah, someone is saying, look, it could be a masculine energy. They could, somebody could also want str no strings attached type of relationship where we ha we hook up, we have fun. They could even travel to you. It can be an energy of there's distance between the two of you. Um, this person could feel like they're um, you're their soulmate or, or vice versa. They feel like they want to do something different with you. Like some change needs to happen within the relationship, within the connection. <clears throat> it could be a Sagittarius or a Piscean person. In your career, and also it could be you, um, Aries. It could be um, Aquarius too. Um, in your career in finance, you have the Page of Pentacles. So this is about... Um, you know, good news coming into you. Some something about the groundwork that you've done. You're going to achieve some success here. You set you set some goals, and now you're deciding what you really want or what opportunities um, are available to you, or you should go after. Um, some of you are furthering your education, and some of you are just really reaping the the rewards of your hard work. Um, if you're dealing with real estate, there could be offers with real estate. Everything looks good in terms of your money and career. Um, some of you could just be learning uh, the powers of divination and studying the tarot, okay? Um, some of you are going to start a healthier lifestyle. Um, you could be in that type of business also. You're developing a plan uh, within your lifestyle, within your money also. Um, you're training um, and you're ambitious, okay? And that... It says that you're going to get things done because of consistency, okay? Or if there is lack of consistency, then you know that you need to be more consistent. Uh, the overall energy this week is the devil card, temptation. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. If you are not, it's just more so. It says, make sure whatever you choose does not lead you down the road of entrapment, feeling stuck, tied, bound, or indebted to. This could even talk about actual debt, going in debt to go on vacation, to buy that car, to do whatever. Um, make sure that your choices are not extravagant, says the devil card. Um, make sure that whatever you choose does not lead you down the rabbit hole um, to where you have to dig yourself out, where there is karmic lesson. Um, the devil energy just doesn't attach itself to you, but it is a choice you make because your life is full of, you know, it's um, basically the sum total of all the choices you've made, okay? Because just like there was a, a good choice, there was a bad one, and there, when there was a bad choice, there was a good one. So uh, this week is about choices. Also, some of you may be getting some money from legal matters, signing paperwork. Again, there's an energy of just starting over, going in a new direction, uh, feeling amped up. Um, also, uh, beginner's luck if you're starting out in something. So uh, make sure that you just, you know, whatever money comes into you, you do the right thing. Uh, whatever relationship comes 
to you if it's not what you want if it's not something that aligns with your morals and your values don't get tied into something that you're going to feel entrapped stuck close to that you're gonna to have to work yourself out of all right so that's what i have for you aries if it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there uh take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link or buy l a coffee thank you many blessings to you take care